What if I told you that you could create a time machine with workable technology and materials if they were available? It's a mind-blowing concept, isn't it? Maybe not the sleek silver DeLorean in Back to the Future, or the sleigh with the spinning wheel in H.G. Wells' The Time Machine, but something more in line with established scientific principles. Where would you go? What would you do? And in what time period? More on that later. Well, you're not alone. The idea of traveling back in time has been captivating our collective imagination in literature, cinema, and folklore for centuries. It's the dream of scientists and daydreamers alike. Time travel, it seems, is a universal fascination. Picture this. The year is 1895. H.G. Wells' The Time Machine hits the bookshelves introducing the concept of time travel into popular consciousness. Fast forward to the mid-20th century, enter Rod Serling with his groundbreaking television series The Twilight Zone, chock full of time-bending narratives, and who can forget the iconic DeLorean from Back to the Future that made us all want to zip through the space-time continuum. Our fascination isn't just limited to the fictional world. The scientific community has been equally allured. Theoretical physicists like Albert Einstein and Stephen Hawking have pondered and proposed theories about the possibility of time travel. It's no longer just a figment of our imagination, it's a scientific curiosity. But is time travel merely a captivating concept confined to the pages of sci-fi novels and the frames of Hollywood flicks? Or could it be a tangible reality? If we scan the annals of scientific research we'll find that time travel isn't entirely dismissed as a pipe dream. In fact, it's a topic that has been seriously discussed and studied in the realms of quantum physics and cosmology. Yet the concept remains elusive. It's like a puzzle, with pieces scattered across the vast expanse of human knowledge. Some pieces are within our grasp, while others are hidden in the unexplored corners of science. So, when we talk about time travel, we're not merely indulging in whimsical fantasies. We're addressing a scientific possibility that, while currently beyond our technological capabilities, could potentially be within our reach in the future. Before we dive into the how-to, let's understand what time really is. What is time, a clock ticking, the sun rising and setting? Well, in the simplest terms, time is the ongoing sequence of events taking place. It's the past, the present and the future, all bundled together in a continuum, constantly flowing like a river. When we look at a clock we're not really seeing time itself, but rather a measurement of its passage. Each tick of the clock represents a moment that has slipped into the past. But let's dive a little deeper. Is time really as straightforward as it seems? Not quite. Enter Albert Einstein. According to his theory of relativity, time isn't the same everywhere. It's relative, meaning it can speed up or slow down depending on the speed at which you're moving and the strength of the gravitational field you're in. Imagine you're on a spaceship, zooming away from Earth at nearly the speed of light. Back on Earth, your friends are celebrating birthdays and growing older, while you, in your speedy spaceship, experience time at a slower rate. You return to Earth to find your friends have aged more than you. It sounds like a science fiction story, right? But this is actually a reality, as proven by numerous experiments. This concept, known as time dilation, is a cornerstone of Einstein's theory of relativity. It's the quirky behavior of time that opens the possibility of time travel, at least in theory. But of course we're not quite there yet. We don't have the technology to zip around at light speed or create a gravitational field strong enough to significantly alter the passage of time. So, time is not just a linear arrow, it's a dynamic and relative entity. It's an integral part of the fabric of the universe intertwined with space to form a four-dimensional structure known as space-time. Now that we have a basic understanding of time, let's explore the first step towards building a time machine. Ever heard of Einstein's theory of relativity or the concept of wormholes? These might sound like complex terms but let's break them down to make them more digestible. Einstein's theory of relativity is composed of two parts, special relativity and general relativity. Special relativity proposes that the laws of physics are the same for all non-accelerating observers. It also states that the speed of light within a vacuum is the same, no matter the speed at which an observer travels. On the other hand, general relativity, Einstein's masterpiece, suggests that massive objects cause a distortion in space-time, which we perceive as gravity. This means that the fabric of space and time is curved by mass and energy, creating a landscape where paths are no longer straight. This concept is essential for us because it provides a foundation for the existence of wormholes. Now let's dive into wormholes. In simple terms, wormholes are theoretical passages through space-time, created from the bending of the universe itself. 
Imagine folding a piece of paper and then poking a hole through the two overlapping sections. That's a basic visual of a wormhole. These fascinating constructs are not just shortcuts through space but also time. Wormholes are based on solutions to Einstein's field equations for general relativity. However, they remain largely hypothetical, primarily because of the exotic matter requirement. This exotic matter which theoretically has negative energy density is needed to keep a wormhole open. But don't worry we're not going to let that stop us in our quest to build a time machine. The interplay between Einstein's theory of relativity and the concept of wormholes provides a foundation for our understanding of time and space. It gives us the first glimpse into the possibility of time travel and the mechanisms that might make it feasible. Moving ahead let's talk about the first building block of our time machine. How do we build a wormhole, you ask? Well, the answer lies in the realm of the theoretical and the fascinating world of astrophysics. Theoretically, to build a wormhole, one would need to compress a huge amount of mass into an incredibly tiny space. Imagine for a moment taking a star 10 times the size of our sun and squeezing it down to the size of a marble. This extreme compression would create a gravitational pull so strong that it would literally warp and twist the fabric of space-time around it. Now this idea might seem far-fetched, but it's based on real science. Einstein's theory of general relativity tells us that mass and energy can bend space-time. This bending is what we experience as gravity. So in the case of our hypothetical wormhole, the massive gravitational pull would cause space-time to fold in on itself, creating a tunnel or wormhole through space-time. But building a wormhole isn't as simple as just compressing a star. We would also need something known as exotic matter. Exotic matter is a theoretical substance that has negative energy density and a large negative pressure. This is the stuff that would keep the wormhole from collapsing in on itself. So, to build our wormhole, we'd need to create a region of space-time where the gravitational field is so powerful that it forms a tunnel. Then, we'd need to fill this tunnel with exotic matter to keep it stable. Sounds simple, right? Well, not quite. In reality, the creation of a wormhole would require technologies and understanding of physics that are far beyond our current capabilities. But even though we can't build a wormhole with the knowledge and technology we have today, it's still a fascinating concept. It challenges our understanding of the universe and gives us a glimpse into the incredible possibilities that lie in the future of science and technology. But what happens after we create this wormhole, let's find out. Creating a wormhole is only half the battle, stabilizing it is the real challenge. So you've managed to create a wormhole, a shortcut through space-time. But before you strap on your time-traveling boots and step through, there's one more hurdle to clear, stabilization. In the world of wormholes, stability is the name of the game. Without it, our wormhole might collapse faster than you can say, time paradox, trapping or annihilating anything unfortunate enough to be inside. Not exactly the ideal outcome for our time-traveling adventures, right? So, how can we keep our wormhole from snapping shut? Enter the concept of exotic matter. This isn't your everyday stuff that makes up stars, planets, or your favorite coffee mug. No, this is something entirely different, something that, according to our current understanding of physics, possesses negative energy density and large negative pressure. What makes exotic matter so well exotic is its ability to flout one of the most fundamental laws of physics, the strong energy condition, which states that the energy of a particle is always positive. Exotic matter with its negative energy, thumbs its nose at this rule, making it the perfect candidate for holding open our wormhole. But there's a catch. Exotic matter is, as the name implies, exotic. It's not something we can just pick up at the local supermarket. In fact, we're not even sure it exists. It's a theoretical concept, a necessary ingredient for our wormhole recipe, but one we've yet to find in our universe's pantry. And even if we did find it, harnessing it would be a monumental task. Think about trying to catch a gust of wind with your bare hands or hold on to a beam of light. That's the kind of challenge we're talking about here. So, stabilizing a wormhole? Not a walk in the park. It's a titanic task that would require us to rewrite the rulebook of physics and venture into uncharted scientific territory. But hey, no one said time travel would be easy, right? Assuming we've stabilized our wormhole, what's next? Now that we've got our wormhole, how do we use it for time travel? To answer that question we must dive into the fascinating realm of time dilation, a concept derived from Albert Einstein's special theory of relativity. According to this theory, time isn't a constant entity. It actually changes based on the speed at which one is moving and the gravitational force one is experiencing. Imagine you have a pair of twins. One stays on Earth while the other embarks on a space journey. 
traveling at near light speeds. When the spacefaring twin returns they would find that their earthbound sibling has aged more. This is time dilation in action. So, how does this apply to our wormhole? Well if we could move one end of the wormhole at near light speeds, then return it to its original position, we could theoretically create a time difference between the two ends of the wormhole. Picture this. You step into the stationary end of the wormhole, and emerge from the other, which has been whizzing around the universe at near light speeds. According to the theory of time dilation, you would have traveled into the future, relative to the time on the stationary end. The same principle applies if we place one end of the wormhole near a massive object like a black hole, where the gravitational force is immense. Time would pass slower near the black hole compared to the other end of the wormhole. So, if you enter the wormhole away from the black hole and emerge from the end near it, you've effectively traveled into the past. This, in theory, is how we could manipulate time using a wormhole. But it's not as simple as packing up one end of the wormhole and sending it on a cosmic joyride. There are myriad practical challenges we'd need to overcome to make this a reality. Let's delve into the practical challenges of this step. Building a time machine isn't as easy as it sounds, is it? The journey to making time travel a reality is fraught with practical challenges that are as thrilling as they are daunting. Buckle up as we delve into some of these hurdles. First on the list is the staggering energy requirement. To create and stabilize a wormhole, we'd need an enormous amount of energy. We're talking about the kind of energy that's equivalent to the output of a star. And we're not talking about any star, but a giant one like our sun. Harnessing such colossal energy safely and sustainably is a task that's beyond our current technological capabilities. Next, we must consider the dangers of mini black holes. You see, wormholes are closely related to black holes, those mysterious cosmic entities that can devour anything, even light. In our quest to create a wormhole, we might inadvertently create a mini black hole instead. Now that's a risk we wouldn't want to take given the destructive potential of black holes. And then, there are the paradoxes. Ah, the paradoxes. They're the stuff of science fiction stories and theoretical conundrums. One classic example is the grandfather paradox. What if you traveled back in time and accidentally prevented your grandparents from meeting? You wouldn't be born and hence, you wouldn't exist to go back in time in the first place. Mind-boggling, isn't it? There's also the issue of the butterfly effect, where even the smallest change in the past could dramatically alter the present. Imagine stepping on a butterfly during your time travel escapade and coming back to find a world ruled by dinosaurs. Sounds far-fetched, but it's a possibility we can't ignore. Despite these challenges, the dream of time travel continues to fascinate us. The hurdles may seem insurmountable now, but who knows what the future holds. After all, every great journey begins with a single step. So, is time travel a distant dream or a future reality? As we stand on the brink of tomorrow, the question of whether we'll ever be able to traverse through time is as intriguing as ever. Our current understanding of physics and the universe suggests that time travel, particularly to the future, might not be entirely out of reach. On the scientific frontier, researchers are exploring the realm of quantum physics, a field that may hold the key to understanding time on a completely different level. Quantum mechanics with its particle superposition and entanglement could potentially shed light on how we might manipulate time. In parallel, the fascinating concept of wormholes continues to be a hot topic. Theoretical physicists are trying to figure out if it's possible to create and stabilize a wormhole, a passage through space-time that could potentially allow for faster-than-light travel and by extension, time travel. However, it's worth mentioning that these concepts are still largely theoretical and require a lot more research and experimentation. Then, there's the compelling field of cosmic strings, thin, dense strands left over from the early universe. If these strings exist and could be harnessed, they might provide another avenue for time travel. Theoretical physicists suggest that cosmic strings moving in relation to each other could warp space-time in such a way to allow for time loops or close time-like curves. Believe it or not, even our everyday tech gadgets are pushing the boundaries of time. GPS technology for instance already accounts for the time dilation effects predicted by Einstein's theory of relativity. This is a small but real step towards understanding and manipulating time. While the journey to time travel is filled with many challenges and unknowns, the pursuit of this dream keeps us moving forward. It fuels our scientific curiosity, driving us to push the boundaries of what's possible. Time travel remains a captivating concept, a testament to human imagination and scientific curiosity. 
We've journeyed through the complexities and possibilities of time travel. The dream of hopping across the cosmic timeline from the past to the future and back again is a tantalizing one. It's a dream that has sparked the imagination of countless thinkers, scientists, and ordinary dreamers like us. In our journey, we started by understanding the concept of time itself. Time, as we've learned, is not a constant but a relative entity, differing based on speed and gravity. It's a fundamental fabric of the universe, tightly woven with space to create the space-time continuum. Our exploration then took us through the realm of Einstein's theory of relativity and the fascinating concept of wormholes. These cosmic shortcuts connecting two distant points in space-time are the key elements in our theoretical time machine. We've learned how to theoretically build a wormhole by bending and merging two points in space-time, but as we've discovered, creating a wormhole is just the beginning. The real challenge lies in stabilizing it. We've delved into the idea of exotic matter with its negative energy density as a potential solution for keeping a wormhole open. With a stable wormhole, we've learned about the manipulation of time. By adjusting the speed and gravity at the two ends of the wormhole, we could theoretically create a pathway to the past or the future. Yet, the practical challenges of time travel are formidable. The energy requirements are astronomical, and the potential consequences, from paradoxes to the alteration of history, are profound. In the end, our journey was one of discovery and speculation. The future of time travel remains uncertain, but it's a dream that we continue to chase. It's a testament to our relentless curiosity, our desire to push boundaries, and our hope for the extraordinary. While we may not be ready to build a time machine just yet, we can all dream about the day when we might. Thank you for watching Time Pilgrimage. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to our channel for more captivating time and space-related content.